everybody and today well I'm um, today I'm gonna make a review of my uh, model pack version 3 so after a long waiting um, I finally released version 3 of my pack but sadly I couldn't give out the free update because there were too many leakers in version 2 so I decided to give like for people who are already buy it version 2 you will need to pay for an upgrade but it's fine because there are like 50 new models and every old model got updated so I just think we're gonna show you the new things then I guess and um, I don't want to make this video too long so I'm just gonna add in the new models so the first new one is the camp lock and um, those are um, already in version 2 but they got updated and they got them um, like some of the models got completely changed like the campfire and also have like you know outdoors the picnic table got also remade and also some other models but I'm just gonna go into the new stuff alright so in here you have a camp lock and there's a user data in here and every model in here has a user data so it's customizable so that's a cool feature to every model and you can um, change the wood texture in here to the lock to sit next to a campfire so that's cool and you also have the bend to have like a bendy seat you know and you can extrude it if you want to some people might like the extruding, extruding and some people might don't so that's the camp lock and let's go on to the next new modal it's camp wood to like a lock to make yourself some wood for the campfire and this also has some um, user data in here so you have the X to enable it or disable it and also the wood texture and the wood color the X texture and then the X color so that's cool yes it is and then to the next new uh, model is the marshmallow bag so there can be a marshmallow stick without a marshmallow bag where you buy your marshmallows from the shop so in here you can change the colors of um, the bag like the white and the red as you see in here you can also enable or disable the marshmallows if um, yeah somebody all eats the marshmallows and um, you can customize your mar marshmallows, um, like the length and the thickness. And you can make them smooth, like smooth. And you can add the bulge of the um, bag itself, if you see. And yeah, the marshmallows still got updated, but I'm not going to show you um, all of the models because you have to figure it kind of out for yourself what's got changed and um, didn't but I'm just gonna go real quick over the new ones so this is um, a sleeping bag you can change the textures in here you have like every wool type that exists in a Minecraft and also the second wool type and you can also add like a bulge in here you see so this is a cool feature and then the next thing is the wood itself like for your campfire this is like a storage room for your wood and features in here are um, the wood texture and the wood is color itself and then there is like a color for um, the holders but it doesn't do anything like I probably should remove it <laughs> but yeah let's just keep it in there for now and then the new things in the food is um, the cake this is actually um, a, a model for my 2000 special but I added a bit new features to the model like change the texture like you can do that from my 2000 special cake but it's basically the same principle like this thing to move it and then you have like the same user data in here if you see so that was the new cake and you also have 
the fries, because everybody likes fries, you know? And um, a friend actually asked me to uh, put fries in my model pack, because he likes fries, you know? And there are two types of fries. You have like the pointy back of fries and like the normal back. And you can also enable or disable the sauce and you can make from mayonnaise to a uh, ketchup or something, like whatever you want. See? So that's cool. Um, then the next new feature is the, the sandwich, like yeah, everybody likes a sandwich, right? And you can also make it toasty. And you can play around with the size. If you want a humongous sandwich like this. And um, yeah, this was um, the new f models from um, the food pack. Let's go into the indoors. There are some um, cool new ones in here. Like I really like the, the wooden couch in here. This is one of my new favorite ones, so you have like a couch type in here, so you can expand the couch. And I, I really like this one. And you can also change like the wool in here. And the wood type. And the color itself, like the U color. And yeah, this is a cool new model. <laughs> And um, this wasn't the first one, let me actually show you the first one. It's the advanced table. And like every model is really customizable. Like also the wooden couch, like you can do a lot with it. You have like a lot like types of um, models, if you see. So there are a lot of ways to use, um, a lot of ways to use my models. And I'm um, also here in the user data, you can play around with the table and that's cool. Because normally if you make a model, it's just a blame model and it's always the same. But in here, you can play around like how you want it to be. So that's cool. Like, just play around, you know. And you can also change like the wood type. If it loads, yes. Like, this is all, these are all the wood types normally. Yeah, I think so. Yep, and you can change the color in here. Also, like the top of the lock, if you see, like zero is nothing. Oh, same with this, but like because it's the base texture, like zero is the same as one. So I might wanna do this. That will fix it. And then the color and the lock in here. So you just play around, you know. So that was the advanced table. Then the next new model is, um, let me check it out, is the bookcase. Like somebody asked me to make a bookcase, so I made it. You can enable or disable the books if you want to um, add your own books because basically those are all the same. But you can also change the amount so you have like a wall of books. And you can change the wood type in here. So. Yeah, there are two wood types. You have like the, the side ones and then the planks itself that you can change. So what is cool. Let's go on to the next one. And that is the chair. So for the chair, you can enable or disable like the bend from the back in here. And you can adjust the bend if you want like a larger bend, you know. Just play around <laughs> and you can also change the textures like basically all model can do that and the color itself and you can stretch the, the bend like the, the back of the chair out so for the next new model it will be um, yeah the mirror yep so this is a mirror and you can enable or disable the Sparify in here. If you just want the normal mirror. Or you can have like a bulge kind of mirror going on here. And then the wood texture. And you can enable, uh, you can ad adjust the size. <laughs> Sorry for my English. And then also an old book. And 
yeah also user data so you can play around with the books in here and also like the pages and you can change the color if you see so then the the rocking chair like you know like in the movies the cowboys or something mostly like out in the wild west they have like um like a chair that moves kind of like this if you know what i mean right like yeah you, you probably know what it is okay just look at it so i really like this model and you can have some um, user data to um, like move the chair here or you can also move the chair like this and then also you have a feature to um, change the texture of the chair and also just the color just in case you know and then also is a roof lamp so just to hang on the ceiling and um, you can change like the lamp color and the texture itself and then you can also adjust like the lamp with the sliders in here you so you can make it larger you can stretch it out or you can add like a bigger bulge or you can make it bulgy like this and you can also have like a taper going on here so you just play around on how you want to make your lamp and there was the roof lamp let's go on to the the shelf so you have a few types of shelves here you can have like a one block shelf or you can have um, a two by one block shelf or then the three by one block shelf and you can also have the opinion to um, disable the stands in here if you see and you can change the texture of course and also the color so there was the shelf also new model was the stool in here and then you have the feature to um, disable like the mids um, wood pieces in here <laughs> and yeah you can enable or disable it or you can also change the wood um, type in here the texture and the color and the bulge of the top of course and also you can adjust it if you want to then also new um, well it's like the window frame if you see it's like to put in a window frame <laughs> so wait l let me uh, explain this a bit more with an um, example so i'm just gonna make a wall mm. give me a moment guys um. Yes, yeah, so this is my wall. Let's enable um, snappings for a moment. And then let's just move it to the window frame. So, yes. If you can kind of see now, it's a window frame. I mean, there are some user data to like change it. So you have also like the mid block, if you see. Wait, let me turn this off so it will make it easier for you. And you can also have like the symmetry to have it on both sides. sides. And you can adjust your wall here. If you have like a smaller wall, you, you see you can have the parts like there you can see it kind of blink through the wall and you can adjust the size of um, the window of course and you can go up to three and also the top can go up to um, two so you can play around you know if you see this can be um, extended right here pretty cool right 
and also we can change like the wood textures of course <laughs> and also the color itself and then, then like the base color under there if you see so that's cool also the color of the base in here and then like the last one is this but I showed you already all right <laughs> So let's go on to outdoors. There are, art, but, uh, there are also a few new models in here. It's like the, the bench type, like a hanging bench. And you can change the, the texture of the wood in here. And you have like a controller in here to move like the bench, if you see. So that's pretty cool, right? So let's go on to the, the park kind of bench bank, if you see. Pretty cool, right? And also we have the, the feature to change the color of the wood. And also in here to change the texture. And then the next new one is the, the crate. Just the crate, so you have um, a selector in here to um, move like top of the crate and then um, by default you have like um, dirt in here but you can change it on your own if you want to and um, yeah you can also enable or disable the dirt if you don't want it and you can change like the cap if you don't want the top of the crate and you can change the color I have no idea from what wait let me check no, I think I uh, disabled the color, so let's just delete this because you basically don't need it, right? <laughs> Who the fuck uses that? You know, mostly, most of the people would use um, the texture itself, if you see. So you can change from um, every um, texture type. I can change like the bulge of um, the crate, and like I said, the cap and the dirt. So that's pretty cool, right? Yes, it is. Let's go on to the next one, and that is the fence too. So this is basically like the fence I made in on my uh, tutorial kind of series. I made like three episodes or something. But you have like uh, the feature to enable or disable the stance. And you can change the texture, of course. And you can enable or disable the nails in here. And you can have the feature to um, extrude it, if you see. And you can also, wait, change the amount of it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me enable this. Yes, the amount of the, um, the fence. So you can have it like sideways. If you see, and you can change like the space between it and the rotation of it and also the color so it's cool let's go on to the next one and that is the flower pot itself like with some cool awesome flowers <laughs> and um, yeah the, for the user data you can change the color of the flowers and the textures and I'm sorry if I'm rushing like um, between models because it's already at 20 minutes and like most of the people won't watch like the videos from the end because it's so long. So sorry if I'm like kind of rushing right now, but here in the gravestone, it's a new model. You can change the text from the rip, you can enable it or the texture of the stone itself. And um, you can also change the type of the stone, the gravestone. Let me just change it to the default texture. So, yeah, you can play around. You have also a deformer kind of text in here. And here's to enable or disable it. So, the displacer. So, you can adjust it, kind of. And also, sparify. You can just play around with this, alright? I can add like a bend in here, the side bend, 
So you can have a lot of um, outways in this. You can change the text position. So that was the gravestone. Let's go on to um, the leather. So also new model. You can have like the rotation of the stairs and you can change the count of the stairs. Like if you um, want to change like the position, wait, let me explain. If you want uh, more space between um, the stairs, you can kind of do this, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that was the, the letter. You have also the opinion to um, change the textures in here. And um, the opinion to change the side bulk texture. And also, if you didn't notice yet, um, all my new models has a, have a new um, display picture if you see so I also put it some work in that and um, in my opinion it looks uh, much better that way so in here it's um, like if you um, played um, a Minecraft story mode you will probably see these um, lying around on the ground so I just thought I will make it in my uh, model pack and I also had it like features in here to um, change the amount of the, the stones kind of thing and also the sideways and you can change the spacing between those stones and also the side spacing and you can have like an effector to randomize the position of um, the, the stones like the slabs you see here yeah, I will just change the amount a bit So that's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool stuff. You can also change like the texture of it and the color of it has like, like this kind of color you'll see. And also the size, so that's cool. Let's go on to the next one and um, that is, the water well if you see yes you can change the textures the water itself and can enable or disable the top of it and also a new um, thing in here is the wheelbarrow bowl so basically you can um, change like here the movement of the the car and you can enable or disable the dirt in here if you see and also the wheel movement so if you move this around you'll see the wheels move with it so that's a pretty cool feature and you can also like open or close the door in there if you see and the, you can play around with the textures yes so for the next one it's the window clot, um, like it's basically like a market kind of thing or to hang above like a wall, just the same like with um, the window frame in the indoor pack here, it's kind of the same principle but here you have like the, um, the how do you say it, um, the feature to um, change like um, the size of it so you have the one block and you can change it to um, two and to three so three is the maximum so you just play around with this right and you can also show the frames in here because some people <laughs> wow people might like um, the frame in here and some people might don't and um and then you also can change the textures of the wool Oh no, this is the base textures. Let's just go into the wool first because I said it. And yeah, all of the wool textures are in here and also like the second texture. So you just play around with this to have like your combination you want. And you can also have like um, a, the, yeah, the feature to um, change the top texture in here. 
and also the texture in here. If you see, so that was the window clot. Um, that was kind of it for um, the outdoor. And if you see, <laughs> there are pretty much a lot of um, models in here, so it's definitely worth to buy the update or buy the pack. Because like every model got an update and also there are 150 um, models in here like this thing the most advanced model pack in here that's around for Minecraft so it's pretty much worth it to buy it because it took me like over a year to make it now and um, that's a lot of time I can tell you so I did the outdoors let's go on to the, the random stuff so a new one is um let me find it here is the, the fuel but let me show you this one first because um normally it was like a plain figure because i wrecked this <laughs> like i didn't know what i had to do with this so it looked me kind of fun to wreck like the figure in here because it's a nice figure <laughs> yeah i like it so i rigged it so you can play around with this guy and you can make animations with it so here is to move like the eye and um, the mount pushes wow, <laughs> position in here and then like to make it happy and smile and to make it kind of like um, angry or something and you can change like the position of like the under mount and like the top mounts in here and you can also like disable the the face controllers because some people might don't like it but this is actually this has a feature to move like the position of the eye and you can also move with this like the position of the, the mount if you see and there are some cool sliders in here to like put it in his body so he can pop like out you see he can you can make him like a blame um, stick figure and then you can like pop him out if you see so that's cool right and also I managed this um, this is like the controller for um, the top emotion and this is the bottom emotion and next to here is like this kind of thing in here like yeah, you can see it. Wait, let me um, enable this so you can see it better. Also, here is like the derpy kind of thing. And here is some more derp. And then the eye scale. You see. And you can have like the position of here. And the position of this. If you see. So that's cool, new figure. You have also um, the feature to um, change, uh, move like the top box in here. So that was the figure. Let's just go on to uh, the new model. It's the like the fuel kind of things. Like I can't really explain what it is, but it's like to put gas in or fuel, like a fuel tank or something. And the only feature in here is like to move the handle to release the fuel. So that's pretty cool. It's in a random folder, like what did you expect? Um, also have made like a lolly because I had like a challenge with a guy. <laughs> he, he challenged me to make a model, a lolly model. So I, I made this with, with the challenge. I can enable the stick and also the color of the lolly and the stick color. Then the next new model is the, the blockades. So this is like to blockade like a wall or something like you see in the, the horror movies or like in the zombie movies that you have like um, the window blockade with uh, planks. So you have the feature to make it two blocks wide and also yeah that didn't work. This is like all I have to probably change that like I'm still in um, the bug phase like I st there might be still some bugs but I I'm gonna change that soon. So 
in here is like the extrude for the nails and the texture itself if you see so that's beautiful right and um, let's go on to the next model it's um, the show stands in here and we also have our um, little fellow fellow guy in here like the um, the wooden figure oh wait I forget to mention you can also um, change like the wood of this figure that's also new so I made a whole family of this guy <laughs> cool right and you can also change like uh, the inner texture so that was that for my uh, little guy so I made a, a show stand of him because he's a legend for me <laughs> I don't know why but I just like him and um, yeah you can change or enable the figure if you don't want it if you want to put something else in there and you can also put the glass away if it isn't that um, expensive like if you just want to put a stick in there like who want to uh, steal a stick right but this is just like a show glass so you can't touch it and um, you can have the um, feature to change like the color and also the clay type like the texture and you can change the color as well if you can't find your right texture and you can like smoother the stand out to be honest I like the smoother stand but some people might don't so you can have the feature to um, make it unsmooth like the unbulge kind of thing if you know what I mean and you can change the transparency of the glass and I also made like a note so you know um, if you um, if you didn't know let, let me explain this if you use um, a tran transparency in an object you um, better like enable evaluate transparency if you use um, obient occlusion because mostly if you don't it will go all black in there so I don't use an um, obient occlusion or where is it uh, let me just find it no it's ambient occlusion that's how you pronounce it but you mostly have to um, enable this because my um, object uses transparency so it's better if you enable that so it wouldn't show a black um, be right back guys sorry for that guys so um, where was I yeah I showed you the show stand right so the next thing is uh, the sign so this is like a really awesome cool new model in here so you can change like the type of the sign and you can change the texture of course and the color the bulge you can adjust it and the rotation of the sign itself if you see you can change also your texture if you want to um, change this in a um, noodle shop wow well, it's too long no don't use them um, long words you probably have to scale it then let me scale it down for you sign 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 text there it is no individual scaling noodle shop yes it's a noodle shop now <laughs> so yeah just if you um, have a longer one just scale it down I might actually include that in the feature like change the size that might be a good idea all right so the next new thing it's nothing <laughs> let's go into the sports there are some new ones so the newest one in here is the goal because why have a football if you don't have a goal right and you can also enable or disable the net in here like if you want to go like this some people might like it and those are all um, old models so I'm not gonna go over that so this are all um, new models like I added a new folder that's tools because if you want to add like some little decorate decorations because mostly uh, my packs are from for big decorations but these are like the smaller ones if you see so this is a hammer and you have like a adjustment to change like the hammer type <laughs> hammer time it's 
so yeah you can change the texture and also the material of the hammer itself so the next is the nails because you want to have nails for your hammer right <laughs> and yeah you can you can add some more nails if you want to you can add like the seeds if you want them to lie in another position you can spread them around if you see or you can make them close together cool right and you can taper like uh, the points of the nail if you want them to be like a bit sharper so that was the nail let's go on to the screwdriver so there are two types of um, screwdrivers and it's the like the I kind of type in the front and the X if you see so for the user data for you can also change like the textures and the material so just play around with this you know and also you have a toolkit for all your um, materials and tools like uh, your hammer and your screwdriver and you can um, move like the handle and you can change the wood type and you can also disable it all if you just want the toolbox and you can enable or disable it in um, just some ways if you just don't want the hammer to be there but you want the screwdriver you just disable the hammer so that's cool right and then workbench wow that's loud let's just turn down my volume um, so this is the workbench if you see you can change like the wood and then like the inner bulk if you see and um yes the texture of this and also the same you can disable it all or if you want some parts and you want to have some parts away so yeah that was um the workbench and also the end of um this folder because <laughs> there's a lot more stuff guys like I tell you this is an advanced pack I worked hard on this um, so a new model is the blockades and you can change like the bars to a flat kind of thing in here and you can change like the position of um, the legs in here and the color of the the flats and then what is also new this is new yes this is definitely new so you have like a road board like mostly sometimes you will see like a board like next to the road like mostly in um like groups together but i got one so you can place them how you want it and you can rotate it and you can also disable stand if you want to hang this on a wall or something and you can also have like the feature to change like this if you see it stands out a bit but you can have it like just um, a square but you can adjust it and you can change the color of um, this of course yes then what is also new this is new um, pretty cool right you can enable the like the stand and the signs and you can also change like this texture like the 14 here you can change it so that's cool mm, what is also new the traffic cone oh that's a big one you, <laughs> you should probably scale it down a bit yes that's fine for me so you can adjust the colors in here if you don't like my color that I picked um, yes you can make it smoother some um, people might like the smoother ones oh that's a uh, private uh, stuff <laughs> yes you can also have like bullsh in here if you see and um, this is new and this is the last new one for this folder I'm almost at the end guys sorry for taking this so long it's almost 40 minutes wow this is gonna be a long review 
Um, so the amount is um, yes, it's the amount of the poles because mostly you will have those in groups if you see them around the streets. And you can space them like the space between the poles. And you can have like an effector feature to um, like randomize it a bit if you see. And also there are some like adjustments to the user data. So you have like Sparify. You can make it like uh, just just play around with this, right? You can um, make a lot of polls with this. <laughs> All right. I hope you get it. You can change the color. So I have to rush a bit because I don't want to make this like an hour video. <laughs> wow, like I'm almost here, guys. Don't worry. Um, war. What is new? That is the blast gun and the laser gun. And that's all. Wow, I'm here, guys. Wow, so um, I got the laser gun and the blast gun. So this is the mini laser gun. You have a lot of features in here. You can change, enable or disable the fizzer in here. And you can pull off the trigger. And you can change the colors of this beautiful creature. And you can play around with the... Um, where you put your hands and the tape for, for um, your uh, gun and also yes, the other kind of tape you can tape this, you can play around with all those shits <laughs> you know <laughs> it's um, customizable so it's how you want it to be so you can change it how you want it to be if you know what I mean so you can change the fissure in here and the size and the trigger, because you have to shoot some um, blast guns, no, blast bullets. So we can add like the bulge, the bend, the sparify. You can enable your bullets if you want to fire them. And yes, you can F your amount of bullets. If you see. Vrrr. Beautiful, beautiful, right? And you can fire them. So you mostly want to start for animating like by one. Then go phew, and then at the next one and boom, 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 boom. Right, <laughs> got it. Phew, all right. You can also have like the sound damper, like the blast kind of damper, if you know what I mean. Um, yes, and you can have stretch the damper if you want, like boom, 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 you know. <laughs> wow, I'm here, guys. Wow. <laughs> so. I guess this will wrap it up for the video. Let's just go through the folders one by one so you can kind of see what's all in the version 3 of the model pack. And it's awesome, guys. Definitely worth to buy the pack. And I think I have to say goodbye then. So see you later, guys. And enjoy the pack. Make some cool stuff with it. And um, whatever you do, don't fucking leak my pack. Thank you. <laughs> Because um, that's mostly the reason why I didn't, why I couldn't give out the free updates. But if like I, if I don't see a leak from this pack, like I would keep giving out the free updates. But if you leak this pack, uh, I will have totally no respect for you, and I will give out the update codes. So it's up to you how you want your free updates, right? So just keep the pack for yourself, and um. I will respect you how you are. So I think this will wrap it up for this video and goodbye guys. Enjoy your day. See you.